we're looking at a major milestone here where out of the floods of 2023, a, a pilot project was born to try and capture as much of that stormwater and flood water and lower flood risk and also benefit uh, the groundwater basin by putting that flood water back into the ground. This is an old 120 acre site we bought, right? Had pistachios over there, vines right here, almonds to the west, and we had those ripped out through the rip and chip program, threw up some berms around it, put the water in the underground, and we did it in less than a year. Anywhere and everywhere, groundwater is an important resource for California, and groundwater basins have been utilized uh, for many decades. So we're in a groundwater deficit in a lot of places, but the landmark law, the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act, came about, we're just approaching 10 years of implementation. And over those 10 years, local districts like Consolidated and hundreds of others across the state have been working day in and day out to study their areas and come up with projects and actions to reach sustainability. You put water in the underground, what happens? Water table comes up, you accomplish several things. First of all, pumping costs go down, right? Second, now you have a water supply for uh, droughts. You have insurance, right? Also, any kind of water quality problems we have, we dilute them. We're here to monitor water levels as they add water to the surf, as surface water to these basins. And so, like I said, we're gonna track these things over time as they come up and down. A lot of our ponds, like I said, most of them will perk a little over a foot per day. So if we drain this pond here tomorrow, I guess in two days you could drive on it. That's how uh, faster it will percolate. It brings the water levels up. It replenishes all the private domestic wells that are in the homes that are down gradient. It allows them to get more life out of their wells so they don't have to drill a new well or deepen the existing one. Last year, we put in our ponds alone over 300,000 acre feet of water. I could double the amount of water we put in the underground if I had the ponds. But then when state comes along and offers grant money to, to do, help pay for some of this uh, recharge, we jump on it. You know, so we're real thankful to the state for that. When we partner with local agencies that have expertise and a lot of legacy knowledge on, on groundwater recharge, we can do a lot of really great things.